Hey guys, what's up? Um, so I'm gonna make this video kind of quick this week because I'm actually waiting for a friend to come over. So, um, anyway, so Scream was pretty damn good, and it was just like basically, it was basically like about Audrey like having like DNA on the mask and like like what she did that night. Like, did she kill Nina? Did she kill the other people? But I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that Audrey would kill anyone, really. She, I don't, she's too nice. I mean, she is a little strange, but she's not, like, you know, like, killing somebody capable. She's not capable of killing someone, I don't think, but that's me. Um, anyway, so, um, it was pretty good. It was about that, and then Emma getting these strange calls, and then Will and that girl were trying to, like, find out who really killed Nina, and... The Brooks dad went to talk to Will, and then the girl was there listening the whole time. And then um, Will got stabbed at the end, which was surprising. I didn't realize he would get stabbed at the end, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I was kind of surprised. It was pretty good, though. I, I really liked it. I really liked the episode. I mean, it was, it was interesting, and, yeah, so. And, I mean, nothing really happened, but... Guys, guess what? Oh my god, Awkward comes back on in, like, the end of the month. I am so excited and faking it. I'm gonna start talking about those. I love those shows so much and I cannot fucking wait. I love those shows because they're both about high school and, like, dating and everything else. So, and they're on at the same, they're on on the same day, which is amazing. I love both of those shows to death. So, I cannot wait. And then Scream, the promo next week looks intense as fuck, to be real. And I... And I really, really want Brooke, I really want Brooke and that, uh, Jake guy to get together, because he's really cute, and she's really pretty, and Nina and that Karen kid, he is hot. Like, yeah. And then, oh man, no one needs to be with somebody, but that girl's a lesbian. I don't even know her. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah. Um, Pretty Little Liars, uh, it was okay, I guess. It, I mean, it wasn't my favorite episode, I guess, to me. I don't know, I thought it, I was kind of disappointed, to be honest, because I thought it would be better because how they have showed it and, like, previewed it so much, but I just, I don't know, I just felt kind of disappointed in it, you know, like, it was kind of like a slap on the face kind of thing, you know, but I don't know, like, I mean, there were some parts that were okay, like, like, they all looked really pretty and, like, amazing, but it's kind of, like, I wish that they didn't have prom in Spencer's barn. I think that's kind of stupid. Why don't you just sit at home and have a movie night or something instead of having the real prom, you know? I just I just don't understand. Or either that or just go to the prom anyway. Like for real. I don't I don't know. But anyway. And then Allison trying to contact her brother and and then her at the end. I was like so I wanted to cry because, to be honest, I really want to know who it is. And she says, oh my god, which she must be really surprised on who this person is, to be real. Like, who do you guys think Charles could be? I mean, I have so many different guesses, and I'm sorry I keep looking behind me because my friend is coming, so I'm kind of, like, waiting for... Anyway, so, um, so who do you guys think Charles is? I mean, and then Redco chasing Allie through the woods. I thought that was pretty weird. I was like, what? <laughs> and then the mom's being drunk. I thought that was kind of funny. Like, oh, you know, I'm just going to get drunk while my teenage daughters are on the barn trying to have a prom. And then they're not even supervising. They're just sitting there drinking and getting drunk. And then what if they got kidnapped? And the moms would have no idea again. They would have fucked up. You know, they are already kind of fucked up because, to be honest, the girls already went to the school prom anyway without even telling them. They just kind of walked off. And then the freaking moms, they went over to the De La Renta's house and some and that Reese guy came and then he was looking for Mr. De La Renta's and then he wasn't there and then he left and he was kind of creepy. And then they went downstairs, they heard something downstairs and then they freaking got... It's a classic horror movie move. I mean, you all go downstairs, you don't look behind you, and the door locks. I mean, that's classic. Everybody knows that horror movie move. So, yeah. Um, 
and then they got locked down there, and then they're like, how do we get out? Why don't you just try to freaking take something out of your hair and try to pick the lock, or go out the fucking window? Like, there was a window right there. They're like, how are we gonna get out of here? And there was a window right there, which made me mad, because what the fuck, y'all don't have any common sense. Like, <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, it was alright. It wasn't my favorite episode, but, and then Lorenzo, ugh, I hate him so much. He needs to get the fuck out of here. Don't ever talk to Spencer again. And he, he's a douchebag, and I hope he is fired, because he was mean to Sasha Peterson, and to be honest, Sasha Peterson is bae, so I am defending her ass, because everybody in the PLO fandom is, so I'm going to, and I am team Sasha all the way, no Travis Winfrey, you need to get the fuck off there, you need, you, you need to stop, I don't, I don't, I don't understand why you're still working on there, but whatever, none of my business, so, just so confused, like, I just want to know, who are these people? I just want to know, who is Redcoat, Charles, and Black Veal? I mean, I hope they reveal Black Veal, too, because, to be honest, I have always been curious of Black Veal. And who is all, who is that at all the funerals that, in PLL? Like, she's been on there every single funeral, which there's been nine of them, so that she's been on nine episodes. She's been on a couple more than that, I would say, but I think it could be, like, Melissa or, like, Paige or something like that. But also, I don't know. I don't know. It's somebody skinny. Maybe it's Mer Meredith. Maybe it's Byron's, like, affair per person they, she ha who had an, he had an affair with. So, who knows? So, yeah. Um, I mean, I hope they don't overplay the promo on ABC Family next week, because, because to be honest, when they played the freaking, um, uh, season finale of season five it was kind of annoying to be honest but i'm kind of excited for this season finale because they get to reveal like hopefully we get answers and actually get real fucking answers instead of having a promo lie to us once again we have been lied to like every single season finale or mid-season finale or whatever season finale you know what i mean they always say we get answers but we never get any fucking answers which pisses me off so yeah, and I really hope that we can get all the answers that us fans, we deserve it, and to be honest, yeah. And then, did you guys see Haleb and Sto Spoby kiss? Ah, I was so excited. My Spoby feels and my Haleb feels were real. Like, real, real shit. So, yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna go before my friend gets here, so, um... Yeah, um, I will be talking a little bit more next week, but I will be in California, so I will not be in this location that I am right now. So, yeah, I just thought I'd tell you guys that. Um, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday for PLL mid-season finale talk and Scream and maybe The Fosters, because I haven't watched, I didn't, I forgot to watch that yesterday, but I'll watch it, I'll watch it on tomorrow probably. So, um, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later.